Let's go have fun You, me and the old Jeep Ride around town with our rifles on the front seat subscribe button down below let's get into the real reason you guys click this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make your own like cozy comfy clothes for the winter time I know a lot of you guys have finals coming up I just want to let you know I'm sending you guys a prayer hand emoji hoping you guys do well I'm bringing you guys this video along with Carrie rad I was in just like that with her she's one of the sweetest girls ever honestly her videos are so calming and just like so fun to watch like you know those people that are just like they bring them really good energy to their videos you guys definitely need to check her out because she's going to be styling some outfits and showing you guys kind of a lookbook for the season. So if you're not sure what to wear this season, Carrie's pretty stylish and she's definitely going to have some good ideas for you over on her channel. If you guys are coming from Carrie's channel, then hi, um, I'm Tana. I do like DIY videos, lifestyle stuff, like morning routines, stuff like that. I wanted to give you guys some cozy winter things that you can wear during finals week because I know that can be a pain. These are kind of like DIY clothing hacks if you waited till the last minute to study for your finals. I also wanted to share with you guys my little last minute study hack called Luvo Learn. It is a site that is going to help you ace your exams and get the passing grade you need to have a nice relaxing Christmas break. You can search for study guides through your school, the courses, or even the subject. So it's kind of like your little study buddy. Luvo offers textbook outlines, lecture notes, flashcards, and even video tutorials if you guys learn best visually because I know I do. What's even better is you can upload the study guides you make yourself to the site and earn some extra holiday cash. So what's better than that? If you're like me and you're stressed out at like 1 a.m. because you have to study, they have like a little live chat on there that you can get last minute help from like an actual person, which is super helpful. Since you stayed up late studying, you're going to need these DIYs. So we're gonna get started with the video. It's almost the end of the school year. Finals are here and you've probably used up the last of your dry shampoo. So why not fix that messy hair with a beanie? You can easily throw one of these on top of your messy hair and it actually looks like you tried. I pulled out one of my old beanies from the back of my closet and added these little gems that I got from Michaels to the front of it. I just kind of placed them on there randomly, added hot glue to the back of each of them and stuck them down. It was really easy to do and it's so much cuter than just a regular beanie and a lot more inexpensive than the ones you can find in store that are just like this. This not today graphic tee is perfect to say what you're thinking without having to actually say anything. You can get people to stop bothering you pretty quick when you wear this. So all I did was go on to PicMonkey and I added the words not today to a blank document and centered it on there. Then I went and added that to a Word document to print out onto some iron on paper. You want to make sure that you flip your image before you print it out on the iron on paper. Also, all of these come with like little instructions that you can follow. So make sure to follow the instructions on your specific iron on paper so that it turns out looking good. I just cut out the words and placed it on the front of my shirt then just ironed it on. It's a really simple process but it's a really cool way to give yourself a custom graphic. last DIY is a pretty genius invention created by me, let's just say that. This is not only a scarf that is made out of a throw blanket, but it also doubles as a pillow for using on your desk at school when you feel like falling asleep. It's as soft as a blanket, but it's a scarf because it is a blanket. So yeah, wrap your mind around that one. All I did was just cut out a little piece of my old throw blanket and you can even still use the blanket afterwards. So it's not even like you're wasting it or you can just get one from the thrift store. They're super cheap there. I hope you guys enjoyed those DIY winter accessories to help you guys get through finals week because I know it's going to be a struggle. Also, don't forget to click the link down below to check out the Luvo Learn site and ace your finals, guys. I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.